Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm going to be talking Love Island Australia Season 5, Episode 3. Now, we pick right back up where we left off in Episode 2. Trent gets sent to the waiting room with a bottle of champagne, and there he goes to see Nakia, and they... <laughs> We can finally get a chance to see what this waiting room actually looks like. It reminded me of like a Harry Potter bedroom where he's under the steps. Uh, it looks like just a bed, a mirror, a bathroom, very tight quarters. Uh, Tia is flustered after tonight, after matching with Reed. Reed chooses her in the beginning, at the end of the last episode. Um, we move on to, uh, the, everyone's still a little, like, like after all this stuff happened, like surprise Reed came in. The girls are chatting in, it looks like the makeup room and they're making jokes about how Reed had sex with Kira's sister and she's not happy about that. And she is just like kind of having like a thing in her confessional where she's like, this isn't cool. She actually pulls him, talks to him into, and he tells her that they, they actually, he had sex with her sister three to four years ago. So she feels a little, little better about it, but she draws the line and says like, Hey, like, we're not going to be talking and she makes a joke that this is friendship island for her lucinda makes a comment in a confessional that she thinks that tia is downplaying her sadness for trent having to leave um and then everybody else kind of starts saying the same thing a few minutes later and then like clockwork tia in a confessional says that she is going to give reed a chance to get to know him islanders then play spin the bottle and before they start to do a moment of silence for trent um so just i mean Typical spin the bottle game. Tia ends up having to kiss Reed. She feels a spark. Zach kisses Lucinda. She likes it. He, she says that he's a good kisser. And then we kind of move into the waiting room. Uh, since they're kind of barricaded in there, Trent and um, Trent and Nakia talk. And he says, like, oh, she's a good girl. Um, maybe he made a mistake, like, being closed off so early. And then and then he wakes up the next morning and he's like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Tia anymore. Nikia also says in a confessional that she's open to getting to know Trent. And in the morning, the, like the door unlocks and they can go out and talk to the, everybody there. Then so they go into the room. Tia is not thrilled to see Trent. And then I was like, she flipped pretty quickly. Cause I mean, I think it was just an overnight thing. Uh, Zach lets Zach kind of fills in Trent, everything that happened, the Tia kissing, how she was like acting towards him. Uh, the girls talk uh, and they all tell Lucinda that, Zach is into her. I'm just gonna text that there's gonna be a challenge called Hit It Off. And the premise of this challenge is uh it was girls first guy, and then girls go first, then the guys, and they go up, punch a punching bag, slide down a wet slide, pick up a pair of boxing gloves that have a question in it, and then they read the question out loud, they kiss the islander that they think it relates to, and then they pull off a tab to see what the correct answer was. We didn't see all the right answers. They kind of only showed the important ones, which I'm kind of happy about. We don't need to see 10 to 15 minutes of kind of, again, just these, some of these challenges are just not, they're just kind of snooze fest for me. Um, some notables. Ali claims that he has sex nine to 15 times a week. The girls were pretty surprised by this. He claims that you can have three to four, you can have sex three to four times in one night. He's counting those, those times. Uh, Zach fell asleep while he was having sex before. Nakia kidnapped her friend's dog and T had sex with her gym teacher and got caught by the police. So those are some notables. I think all the other ones are pretty blah. Uh, let's see. Lucinda wants to focus on Nate, but then is there something inside of her that wants also wants to get to know Zach? Uh, Savannah tells Zach, Savannah tells Zach that Lucinda is into him. This like makes his day. He says he's playing chess, not checkers. Trent and Trent and Tia talk. Um, this goes about as well as expected. He comes out and says, like, your communication sucks. He feels like he was let on. She kind of agrees with it. She doesn't really give a lot of, back, um, like, pushback. Um, they take pretty much take a step backward. I don't think they officially closed it off. Uh, she cries in a confessional. Not surprised. Um, I mean, again, it's only been, like, two or three days. So it's kind of – he did say in – his bio that he does fall hard so i'll have to see how this translates i mean i said it last week let's see how it goes when he when he has his first like hiccup but i mean this is he's already handling it just kind of as he said he would um trent tells the guys that he would be interested in talking to savannah he said that he had officially ruled her out because she was blonde but he needs to be more open i think this was a re realization that he had when he was stuck in the waiting room savannah and trent talk they both say that they're each other's number ones at the moment 
And then the big moment before the episode ends, Zach gets pretty messy. He pulls Lucinda and tells her that once Trent ends it with Trent and Tia end it, Nate is going to go talk to Tia because he's always been into her. And I don't know if he actually said that. I think he's just really trying to stir the pot. Um, They kiss. They end up kissing. So Zach and Lucinda kiss. Lucinda liked the kiss a lot. Um, This kind of bleeds into the preview for tomorrow's episode where Nate is pretty pissed at Zach. They have a couple confrontations. I'm interested to see how that goes. And we are teased with Kale, 25 from the Gold Coast. He has like bleach blonde hair and a ton of tattoos. So we're we'll interested to see who he vibes with. So I will be back tomorrow for episode four. I think I'm going to try to do it before I catch my flight. But make sure to check out all, all of our other things. We have Winter House coming out soon. We have Survivor and um, The Amazing Race tonight. Um, so like really the, our page really picks up on Wednesdays uh, in the Wednesday US USA time because all of our shows air pretty much Wednesday and Thursday at the moment. So make sure to comment below, let us know, let me know what you think of the season so far and if you have any suggestions for other shows. So for myself, see ya.